The machine revving up. Andy Risty making his way into the glory ring. 32 years old. Enters with an incredible 41-4-1 record. Wow. He's definitely a fun guy to watch. Sometimes it's to his detriment. He's looking for the knockout. He wanted that knockout so bad against Kyria that he caught one himself. Twenty-one knockouts of his forty-one victories, equaling a fifty-one percent knockout ratio. He is one exciting fighter. This Muay Thai specialist coming in on a glory two-fight win streak, making his fifth appearance. Here is Kai Hollenbeck. Loud ovation for the Californian Kai Hollenbeck, 27 years old, comes in with a 46 and three record. that has seen its fair share of historic battles sees another when Kai Hollenbeck takes on Andy Risty. Break down the numbers, Duke. Well, Risty has a slight height and reach advantage. The experience is similar. This one's going to be found out who wants it in the trenches. The numbers don't mean anything in this one. It's all going to come down to heart. For the official fighter introductions, back to the ring in Tim Hughes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, your co-headline bout of the evening scheduled for three three-minute rounds and sponsored tonight by Beast Sports Nutrition. Fight like a beast. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. He won the 2013 Glory Lightweight Tournament in New York. His record, 41 wins with four losses, one bout scored even. 21 of those wins by knockout. At 5 feet 11 inches tall, 1.80 meters. He weighed in at fight time and at even 154 pounds, 69.8 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Suriname. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Andy, the machine. His opponent fights from the white corner, a three-time world Muay Thai champion with a professional record of 46 wins with just three losses, 23 of those wins by knockout. Standing five feet, nine inches tall, 1.75 meters. He weighed in at 153 and one half pounds, 69.6 kilos, fighting tonight out of San Bruno, California, USA. Here is Kai Hollenbeck. And your referee in charge of the glory ring is Al Wickers. A key title shot eliminator bout between Andy on, Risty Black and Black Kai Black Hollenbeck. Black this bout was to happen at glory 14, Back but Kai corner, was busy Back testing to, to become Back a to firefighter in San Francisco. Corner, so the go. bout was out, moved to tonight. Back Lucky to for us to here in LA. Hey. Hey. Risty and Hollenbeck touch gloves. Risty in the yellow shorts, Hollenbeck in the black. Fans are definitely on Hollenbeck's side. As Risty gets a straight left through that pushes Hollenbeck back. Ron Kruk, Duke Rufus, and Luke Thomas here in LA tonight. Big shot from Andy Risty, and Kai Hollenbeck is on the canvas. Quick work of Kai Hollenbeck. Talk about putting an exclamation point on that punch in the lightweight division. Andy Risty. We know him for winning the Glory Lightweight Tournament with back-to-back -to -back knockouts of Giorgio Petrosian and Robin Van Hoosmolen. 
but then he couldn't build off that victory as he was surprised and shocked by Davit Kiria at Glory 14. He said it was a very expensive lesson to learn. Well, it looks like he's put that defeat behind him quickly as we check out the knockout. Nice. He saw he rocked him with the jab, and then he came back and ripped him with the hook. Hollenbeck never recovered. We have more coming up from Glory 17 in Los Angeles. An extremely disappointed Kai Hollenbeck. It had been a while since he had been back in action as he was, as we mentioned, studying to become a firefighter. And he just got rocked early, Duke. Yeah, I mean, you could see the determination on Risty's face. He came out a man on a mission, possessed to get back to the winner's circle. I like this Andy Risty maybe 3.0 he's made a lot of changes with his training and it helped tonight when you looked at the replays you know it wasn't a knockout that you look at right away and say oh what a powerful shot that landed but that's the strength of this man andy Risty. a lot of that power is is from his unorthodox style for sure, and he's an athletic dude. Another thing, too, he, he ripped him with a broomstick jab. He cracked him. He saw he was rocked, and he said, all right, I'm a yoga hook. Boom, and he put him out. That was a vicious follow-up. One, he saw the blood on the water, and he jumped on him like a great white shark. Uses his height and range to surprise his opponents, or he surprised Kai Hollenbeck. And this lightweight division is wide open. Big victory, though, for Andy Risty. Look at his demeanor, too. He's not even that happy one. He wants that belt. That's what he wants. And I love seeing young, hungry fighters like this. He, he's like, put me on the next three glory cards to get my belt back. And I like that attitude. Of course, the glory lightweight champion is Davit Kiria, who earned that belt with that knockout in the fifth round of Andy Risty. But just in speaking with him in the fighters' meetings, you could tell he was chomping at the bit to get back into the glory ring, erase the memory of that tough defeat, or the expensive lesson, as he called it, and uh, made quick work tonight of Kai Hollenbeck. You can see Hollenbeck, he's still kind of struggling. He's caught between Muay Thai, he's caught between kickboxing, and I think him second-guessing his hand attacks is what left him open. And that's what the Dutch fighters have done for years when they, they fight Muay Thai-based fighters. They take, him, they take him out with their hands. And beautiful, beautiful knockout, incredible performance, and big ups to Andy Risty. He's one bad mamma jamma tonight. Tough loss for Kai Hollenbeck, who was coming off a win over Warren Stevelmans at Glory 12. That was in, dis, uh, in Glory 12, New York. He also got a big victory here in L.A. at Glory 10 when he beat former world number one fighter Albert Krause. And that was, without a doubt, a career best performance for Hollenbeck. For sure. And again, styles make fights. I think that Hollenbeck's style matches up well with fighters like Krause. Kai Hollenbeck, a tough fighter. He will be back. Welcome back inside the Forum in L.A., one of the most well-known sports venues in the U.S. Tonight's highlights are brought to you by 300 Rise of an Empire. Own the Blu-ray this Tuesday. Digital HD available now. There it is, that twist on the punch. That's what counts the most. And again, you saw he, he knew he was rocked, and then he clipped that hook right through. He yoked it right there, and that's all she wrote. And give me my check. A great shot there by our crew capturing Andy Risty from that angle. You see that left hook getting in there and landing perfectly to the chin of Kai Hollenbeck. And Risty is all smiles. Let's make it official.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of 35 seconds of the very first round. This one, World a Knockout. For your winner, Andy Risty. Christy improves to 42, 4, and 1. He came in as a massive favorite against Hollenbeck, and those odds seem to be right. He entered into this fight as the number two ranked lightweight. We'll see if he gets that rematch he desires against champion David Kiria next. But Kiria, of course, has to get by Robin Van Roosmallen. The tournament finals of the Featherweight Contender Tournament are coming up. Gabriel Varger of Canada meeting the U.S.'s 